Creation, Source of Prayer, 2569. Prayer is lived in the first place beginning with the realities of creation. The first nine chapters of Genesis describe this relationship with God as an offering of the firstborn of Abel's flock, as the invocation of the divine name at the time of Enoch, and as walking with God. Noah's offering is pleasing to God, who blesses him and through him all creation, because his heart was upright and undivided. Noah, like Enoch before him, walks with God. This kind of prayer is lived by many righteous people in all religions. In his indefectible covenant with every living creature, God has always called people to prayer. But it is above all, beginning with our father Abraham, that prayer is revealed in the Old Testament. God's Promise and the Prayer of Faith 2570 When God calls him, Abraham goes forth as the Lord had told him. Abraham's heart is entirely submissive to the word, and so he obeys. Such attentiveness of the heart whose decisions are made according to God's will, is essential to prayer, while the words used count only in relation to it. Abraham's prayer is expressed first by deeds, a man of silence. He constructs an altar to the Lord at each stage of his journey. Only later does Abraham's first prayer in words appear, a veiled complaint reminding God of his promises which seem unfulfilled. Thus one aspect of the drama of prayer appears from the beginning, the test of faith in the fidelity of God. 2571. Because Abraham believed in God and walked in his presence and in covenant with him, the patriarch is ready to welcome a mysterious guest into his tent. Abraham's remarkable hospitality at Mamre foreshadows the annunciation of the true son of the promise. After that, once God has confided his plan, Abraham's heart is attuned to his Lord's compassion for men, and he dares to intercede for them with bold confidence.